Hey kids, today we are doing yet another, this is a Crown Vic um, subframe removal for all you Ford truck guys. This model right here is I believe an 06. Yep, it's an 06. Um, this is a police package. A quick, super fast way of telling a police package or non-police package. In case you ever wanted to know, is first thing to look for on the bottom front of the radiator is this piece right here. This is an oil cooler. If it doesn't have it, it's not police. If it does have it, it is police every time. Um, there's a number of other little subtle things you can do. This has got a lot of frozen mud on it. I'll have to clean all that off. Anyway, um, this is a tu quick tutorial on how to remove. Order of removal and steps of removal. All right, I'm gonna make this brief. I find that it's frequently useful. Here are all the tools that you will need to remove this. If you hustle, you can have one of these things. I, get, I do it about 15, 20 minutes. All right, but then again, that tool right there makes it really fast. All right, step one, you will need a 15 16 deep well with an extension. It might be possible to do it otherwise, but this is the best combination I found. You'll want some kind of a breaker bar handy. You don't always need it, but it is frequently used. Um, that will be used to remove the four nuts. There's one right there, one right there, and then there's one on each side. I use, I got about a 12, 10 or 12 inch uh, extension on that. That's your first step. Crack them, and then I zip them out with that. Sometimes that machine will just zip them out without any problem. 2003, 2004, usually are pretty, they're usually easy to remove. Five and six are get a little harder to remove for some reason. I think they use more torque. And 07 and newer, they use steel control arms. That's a whole nother list of uh, issues why that's harder to do. And you need different tools to get them. Most notably, uh, your 21 millimeter will need to be a short well, uh, usually a 3 8 drive and a long 3 8 drive extension to be able to get up on the back side behind the control arm but I digress all right um, next step 13 millimeter I use it on a long extension you will have one bolt for this is the ABS block you're not removing the ABS block but trust me remove that one bolt it makes your life easier you won't see it until you jam one up and then you'll understand um, the brake line right here has a 13 millimeter there's also a 13 millimeter up on the steering linkage my fingers pointing right at it most of the time you can rotate the wheels there's no steering lock on these and or you come in from above and get it there are th so you get those three out you also take out the the brake line on the passenger side. Sometimes this one's at a weirder angle for some reason. I don't know why. The frame is not the same on both sides. My guess is to accommodate the steering linkage on the driver's side. Either way, take that one out, put that tool down. Um, next tool you'll need an 18 on a shorter extension through the bottom. Oh boy, this will be fun. I'm have to chip through this because I can't see them. But there are two holes in the subframe going up to the bottom of the block motor mounts. There are two 18 millimeter nuts. Drop those two nuts. You don't need them. Chalk them in the trash. Um, they are not a factor for you. Next thing, set that to the side. Next thing you want to grab is a 15 millimeter deep well. Almost all of these are 15 millimeter deep wells. This is for your two sway bar brackets. Um, and also the rear control arms to the frame. Take those, there's three bolts on each frame, or on the control arms, and then there are two bolts holding these. Now, do not lose these yokes right here. They hold the uh, sway bar to the frame. You're gonna wanna get those. On 03 and some 04s, it's all, the sway bar uh, bushings are integrated right on the, they don't come off. So you don't have to worry about losing them or having them, so ignore that part. The next part you're going to need here is, this is where, if you're being a dick, do it. Take a long pry bar, put it into the power steering pump, um, in there, 
into the pulley and bend the pulley back just a little bit to give you more room to get an 18 millimeter wrench onto the power steering line. You're gonna wanna remove it from the power steering pump. Hopefully it's a little focus in here. Um, it's a little hard, but there's a line that goes right behind that pulley and it's helpful to have that extra little bit of room. I have a dedicated tool I purchased just for doing these. You crack it with this one and then you do the rest of the work with this because it's shorter and easier to work. Next thing we have, there is an 11 millimeter nut that holds. Sometimes it's easier to go from above, sometimes it's easier to go from below. In this situation, there is a nut right here. It is 11 millimeters. Take that out with just a regular uh, 3 8 drive ratchet. You don't need the nut, but that allows you to keep the power steering line. Now this is presuming you don't just cut the power steering line right from the beginning. Oh, roll over. Next part of this. Side cutters of some kind, bolt cutters will work. You're going to cut this brake line right here. You will also cut, follow my finger here, there's a brake line that goes down and through. See that uh, fitting right here? You're gonna cut it on this side, on the car side, right there. Cut that. Then, down in here, use your pry bar. There's a plastic clip to the frame. Usually I take the pry bar, put it in there, and whack it with a hammer or whatever and just break that clip. You don't need it. And this will give you a brake line going all the way to the passenger side. Saves you plumbing and work. Do not worry about disconnecting the steering linkage once you have that 113 millimeter bolt out earlier. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to worry about the return line from the, uh, from the power steering cooler. Not a factor, 100% guarantee. When you drop this thing, it comes off every time and it doesn't damage it in any way. Virtually every one of these cars, I think I've only seen maybe one that wasn't, especially the police ones. The oil cooler leaks a little bit. They change oil right here. It just drips down on there. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just part of the nature of it. Um, but lastly, or not actually lastly, second to last, a 21 millimeter. That's when you start taking out these four big bolts. Pro tip, and this is a serious pro tip, listen to me carefully. Do the driver's side first. Do not try the passenger side, do the driver's side first. Boom, boom. Now on the back side, sometimes I have trouble getting the head of my tool in there and I need an extension of some kind to unscrew it. Sometimes this thing is a bitch to get out. The passenger side is frequently a little bit harder. And the reason for that is the bolt holes on this side are actually oblonged in the subframe. So your tool will frequently hit this stud right here when you're dropping it down. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. When it's aluminum control arms, it goes pretty easy. It goes better. When it's steel control arms, these motherfuckers are a bitch to do. Trust me, that's why I was talking about the 3 h adapter onto a half inch drive. It's a pain in the ass. You do those four, at this point in time, this thing is just about ready to drop. You go to the driver's side and you loosen up both of these two nuts right here. It's a 15 millimeter. I usually, to keep minimal tools, use the 15 and I use my 18 as a secondary pry boop and get the extra leverage drop the driver's side then drop the passenger side at that point in time this thing should just about fall out if it does not immediately fall out get on the driver's side and again you're doing the driver's side first step on this stomp on it and eventually it'll fall right out onto the ground do not worry about the engine falling out it will not fall out as long as the transmission cross member is still in place if the transmission cross member has been removed it will not drop you will have a motor sitting on top of what you need so hopefully uh, this video helps anybody who wants to remove one it'll take you about 15 20 minutes or it'll take you three hours um, I've had them take about as long as an hour and a half to remove because the long bolts were rusted in place and they fought me with a breaker bar and an extra pipe this is a jack handle um, 
removing. So hope this helps somebody. Peace out, bitches.